Hey there, Tammy Cavell, founder and CEO of Career Resume Consulting. And today I would like to share with you three tips to get a resume looking different than everybody else's and get it to stand out from your competition so that you can get that initial first phone call, which is so important. So if you don't have a lot of time to spend on completely redoing your resume, you want to make some quick changes to it that will greatly increase the chances of getting a phone call, then it's time to take notes with this advice because this can really change up your search results and really get the phones ringing for you, okay? And that's what I want for you, of course. So. This is specifically for executive resumes, however, it will work for all different types of resumes for any professional position, all right? The first thing I want to, well, actually, let me give you the three things to write down, and then I'm going to fill in the information from those three things. The first is I want you to strategically use keywords, not keyword stuffing. We'll talk about how to strategically use keywords so that there are plenty of keywords in a one-page resume that will get you what you need out of the search results, but without looking like it's keyword stuffing, okay? Number two is going to be writing persuasively rather than academically. So almost everybody writes a resume academically. However, if you write persuasively, because it is, in essence, a persuasion document, you're wanting to exude action from someone. You're wanting them to give you a phone call. So you want to write the resume persuasively. And I'm going to give you some resources, free resources, on uh, how to do that. And then thirdly, number three, is how to it, you want to put your achievements in a way where they have quantifiable numbers at the end of them. In other words, quantifiable results of your achievements. Numbers. People are attracted to numbers. And so you want to put a lot of numbers. What's the end result of what you've contributed to the bottom line of the companies that you've worked for? And that could be in making a company money or saving a company money. So let's go through some of these and I'm going to give you some resources um, for free that you can use to build this rock star resume that you really need in order to set yourself apart and get that job quickly, get that phone call quickly, get the phone calls, phones ringing. So the first thing I want to show you is I have put together what I call the ultimate keyword toolkit. And what this is, is 208 keywords and phrases that employers are using to look for somebody like you. These are transferable skills and experience factors that employers are using. So I want to give this to you free. I have had such a request amount for this that I've actually put it on my website, Career Resume Consulting. And I'm going to put a link up top and also in the description um, if you're watching this in YouTube that will allow you to go to the website under free resources and get this ultimate keyword toolkit which will allow you to pick from these as to what really describes you more than anything else. I want to give you some uh, examples of keywords. For instance, um, being creative, decisive, diplomatic, action-oriented, bringing order out of chaos, uh, bringing out creativity in others, uh, being a quick thinker or a problem solver, uh, being persistent or performing against tight deadlines, uh, being a natural leader, even if you don't have real leadership experience where you've led others, you could be a natural leader, um, being highly articulate or highly charismatic, um, having a strong executive image might be something that you would want to put in there. Now, experience factors are, for instance, high tech experience, improved productivity or improved sales or profits, or experienced at cost control, um, possibly built loyal teams, um, de designed efficient systems. Any kind of process improvement is really welcomed. So anything, anything that you can show a before and after picture where you've been able to improve a process or systemize a process that didn't have a system before. So a before and after picture is always very impressive. If you want this list, um, then go ahead and click above and you can get that list of keywords. Again, it's called the Ultimate Keyword Toolkit. Now, in the resume, 
instead of keyword stuffing, in other words, just putting them randomly everywhere, there's also a really, gosh, it's not a very high integrity way of doing it. However, I have seen people take really small, tiny font, put a lot of keywords in it, and then make the keywords white against a white background. In other words, you can't see it, it's invisible, but it'll let those, that's true keyword stuffing. I mean, that's putting keywords so that it will be accepted by the automated bots and you will come up and, and be seen by real eyeballs. However, I have found a much more effective way to get somebody's attention if you really want eyeballs to look at your resume is to send a hard copy resume to the person that would be your boss, to the hiring manager and not to HR. In human resources, they're told to scan it into a database and so you may not get a phone call. Now, with some human resource directors, if they're high enough, if they're really good at, at talent management, they will take the time to read your resume and they may give you a call if they've got something open. But to really get a phone call from the decision maker, you want to send a hard copy to the decision maker. So in a one page resume, going back to keywords, there's a place that I like to put, two places I like to put it, keywords in, into a one page resume. Underneath the job title, I like to put two lines of hard skills. Those are the experience factors like cost control or um, vendor management or project management, something like that. So two lines of that, you can usually get 10 to 12 keywords and phrases underneath the job title. And then also underneath the three core strengths that I usually put in a resume, I'll have a small paragraph that actually says key skills and it'll list the soft skills like, um, you know, strong in communication or some of the skills that I mentioned here uh, that you're able to do that might take a few more words to explain, such as, uh, you know, you're able to um, expand profits by building relationships, something like that. It takes a little bit longer to explain. Uh, and, and then uh, you want to put that underneath the three core strengths. Now, if you want an example of this, go ahead and look to the right and click on the right hand side. I'm going to put a link to our sample resumes. And you can look at the sample resumes and um, pick some that, that look like you and feel free to use any of the words on the sample resumes. Now, the second thing I want to mention to you is that I want you to write it persuasively. If you're not used to writing persuasively, I totally understand not most people are, are not uh, used to being a, a sales writer or writing what's called sales copy. Now, when I write a resume, I usually um, consider it like I'm writing an advertisement. So I'll use very salesy language. What I found 13 years ago when I started writing resumes is that the more salesier I would write them, the more phone calls people would get, my clients would get. So really when I started my business in 2008, I, I started writing very salesy and I got really, really good results. So write it persuasively. And I want to give you a document that I just wrote. It's actually a report that I wrote that has, I believe, 381 persuasive words. Those are words that bring out emotion in people. Now, I've listed some that bring out negative emotion and some that bring out positive emotion. And I've done that for you so that you can list the before and after. So the before might be that you're hemorrhaging money. The company was hemorrhaging money. So you turned around an operation that was hemorrhaging money into an operation that catapulted revenues by 73% the first year, something like that. So if you want those emotive words, if you want those persuasive words, I have not put that up on my website yet, but you can email me and just ask me for it. I'd be very happy to email it to you. It's a PDF. And you can email me at Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y, at beyondjobsearching, Tammy, at beyondjobsearching.com. And just ask for the 381 persuasive words report and I would be very happy to send that to you same day, all right? So um, feel free to email me and I would be happy to send it to you. Now, the third thing that you wanna do is you want to include numbers, all right? Now, if you want some examples of the types of resumes that we write, again, over to the right-hand side, click on that and that will take you to sample resumes that will show you 
The entire bottom half of a one-page resume are quantifiable achievements. Those are achievements that back up the three core strengths that I always identify in clients when we talk with them. We actually uh, do a very in-depth interview process where we're pulling out of you all of the things that you are really proud of throughout your entire career, even if your career spans 35, 45 years. We go back and look at everything and look at everything that you're proud of and we pull out things that you've forgotten about or that you don't know how to quantify. If you want to learn how we work and if you're interested in working with us in that way, feel free to click above. I'll go ahead and put a link to our page that explains how we work and you can explore that option. Um, but you want to write in a persuasive way the quantifiable results and you want to use salesy language like I just used before as far as catapulting revenue or um, boosting profits or something like that. You really want to use it. thesaurus.com is my best friend. So when you're sitting there writing your persuasive words, look up thesaurus.com and literally I put in the root word like increase or decrease or reduce. So I'm looking for all kinds of words that mean the same thing as reduce for reducing costs. And I'll pull out some of the salesiest stuff you'd ever want to see, but it really looks impressive and it gets a much better result. So I hope this information has helped you today. Again, if you're interested in talking with us, what I would recommend is first looking at the page of how we work. And again, I'll put the link up there so that you can click that to see how we work or Feel free to contact me at Tammy at beyondjobsearching.com. You can email me. Or if you're out of the United States, because we do work worldwide, feel free to reach out to us um, by email. It, and you can also call our offices at 816-600-2478. I hope this information has served you today. And uh, I know I went a little long, we're over 12 minutes, but I wanted to share this information. And I hope that you can use this to change up your resume and really make it something that will set you apart from your competition, that will show exactly what you do for an employer. Keep in mind that this needs to be, it, it needs to be based on what you can do for them. It's all about what's in it for them. And then also what defines you and how you do business. That's really important. They want to know who you are before they even pick up the phone and call you. So that can be done in a 30 second commercial on a one page resume, believe it or not. So feel free to look at the sample resumes and uh, I hope this has helped you. If you want help with your resume, that's what we do. We do executive branding for six and seven figure professionals worldwide. We also do um, we can stay with you and work with you weekly until you get a job and do everything from interview coaching to negotiations with you. We do it all. So uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, that's all for me this week and I hope you have a wonderful productive week and that it's an exceptional week for you. All right. Take care. Bye now. Talk to you soon.